Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Diaz and this is my feature video for FFQR25 where we wanted to automate the data loading on both of the services that we have for our application. Um, we want to do this in such a way so that upon running the startup script like Maven Spring Boot Run that we can pass a command line uh, argument and then that argument will trigger to load the databases which will make it easier for future engineers to work on the project and not have to worry about getting the data in there. So let's go first to the example. So here there's two services that we use for this application currently food item service and the questionnaire service uh, separating the responsibility of the two this is just food items and calculation of food items once we submit the totals and questionnaires is where an issuer um, can create questionnaires where results will be stored and visible to the issuer um, as well as requests for access to the questionnaire database which will be allowed through by the administrator all that um, detailed in a previous video so let's start up both services normally we can see the food item service This is a normal startup. The application is started, and if I, this application has two databases of food items and the nutrient list. As we can see, they're both empty in this case. So I'm going to turn this off, and now I'm going to start it again, but passing in this argument. Mongo food items load equals true. Enter. And here we have that a total of 83 items were added to the nutrient list collection and 54 items added to the food items collection. If I come back and trigger these, we have data. Nutrient list 50 plus 33. So that's the food items. And so the questionnaire, we want to be able to have some valid questionnaires upon startup so we don't have to create them through Postman. And we'll do the same. This is going to be different. Okay, application started, questionnaire uh, collection is empty, so now, let's see. and I will pass in the argument, Mongo questionnaires load equals true. We've added a total of six items to the questionnaires collection. And there we have it. Valid 001, 002, all the way to uh, hmm. we'll tweak that. That's a printing error. It's five items. <laughs> so, uh, as far as the code is concerned, I didn't merge the master yet. Um, take a look at implementation quickly. One thing I did add here is uh, I added a Postman collection. For future devs, you can just import this into your Postman and you'll have already functionality set up to, tr to, to query the, the API without having to figure it out. And this could be shared. So I added it to the source control. Um, from the food entry service, I basically get access to the application context. I create a bean that gives me back this variable, which I added to the application.properties and is always set to false. But in this case, we're going to pull it. And then if the, if the developer passes in this argument is true, then we're going to instantiate a data loader, which is another bean, and call its load function. So if we go to data loader, this is the food item one, which is a little bit more involved. Um, we start off by deleting 
the databases as it is. So this is highly recommended to, and I'll put this in the documents. You know, as we as this project starts uh, maturing a little bit more and is getting closer to production, you want to get a little bit more um, refactor this a little bit so it's not accidentally uh, wiped clean. Um, and then we parse the nutrients themselves into the nutrient collection through uh, this Excel data load function that was uh, added by my partner Arlette and and then we parse a payload that we have stored within the um, in the repo which is a JSON object containing a bunch of uh, containing all the definitions of the food items pointing to their nutrients and then we add each one to the list catch any errors and display that the loading is complete um, I removed this this was done before through an endpoint pretty obscure named endpoint so figured it'd be a lot more efficient through the command line and this is just some minor corrections um, the questionnaire service is, pre is pretty much a little easier again I added a postman collection um, same process I, I, I create a bean to get that value I check the bean if it's true then I load the data loader and in this case I just um, you know create five uh, five questionnaires and that's it for this feature video thank you very much